What's going on YouTube? It's your girl Kirby Plus Curls and I am back with another video. So you're probably wondering, judging by the title of this video, what we're going to be talking about. Before we get into all of that, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and also click the notification bell so that you don't ever miss an upload. Let's get into it. So this video is going to be about my career, jobs that I've worked and what led me down the path that I, I'm on currently. So in order for us to get there, I have to tell you a story. So I have to kind of backtrack. We have to go backwards and explore all of the jobs that I've worked and my prayer life has increased and that's because I am seeking my purpose. So let's start at once I graduated from college. So I graduated from college in 2012. Okay, when I graduated from college, I went on to pursue a master's degree. While pursuing that master's degree, I decided to take a job at the university that I was attending. Now, that particular position was entry level and I was, I was comfortable doing that job. I could do that job in my sleep. I really didn't do anything, to be completely honest. Once I resigned from that position because I was there for about maybe a year and some change, I decided to transition to a teaching job. Um, when I became a teacher, I had no idea what I was doing. I'm just going to be completely honest. I had no clue. I had never taught before. <laughs> I I I didn't I didn't know what I was doing. I'm just going to be completely honest. It was different and it was rewarding at the same time. When I became a teacher, it was a step in the right direction for me. I was fortunate enough to teach in my old high school district. So I got a chance to meet kids and students that, you know, I didn't, I didn't know these kids, of course, but it gave me an opportunity to connect with them. So teaching was very rewarding for me. It, it really was. However, it was short lived. In 2015, I decided to relocate to Maryland, which is where I live currently. When I arrived to Maryland, I didn't have a job. I did not have a J-O-B, okay? Your girl was jobless. And that was primarily because before moving here, I did not line up anything. I didn't have anything waiting for me when I got here. I showed up and was like, I need a job. I get to Maryland. I'm like, I'm here now, what what do I do? Where do I go? So I ended up interviewing for a number of jobs and I ended up landing a job as an admissions representative for a for-profit college. Now, if you're not familiar with what for-profit is, it is a higher learning institution that thrive off of student enrollments. So if enrollments are low, then business is bad. And as an admissions representative, a large part of my job was to convince people like you and you to come to the school, tell you all about the school, and hopefully at the end of it, you sign up. Now, when I first started the job, I knew walking in the door that that job was not for me because I'm not a salesman. And as an admissions representative working for a for-profit college, you need to be a salesman. I'm just going to be completely honest. And, and, and you need to know how to persuade people. And it's one thing about me when it comes to education. I am a firm believer that people go to school because they want to. So for me, the concept and what I was responsible for doing kind of, it never really set well with me. And so because of that, I kind of walked into the situation feeling like a failure. So fast forward 11 months, I get laid off. 
I get laid off and I don't really have a, a savings account. I was literally here with no money. I gotta keep it 100. I was here with no money. So I'm here, I'm living, I, you know, I'm, I'm doing the best that I can and I just lost my job. So fast forward, I ended up getting, getting another job. Literally, like I got laid off on the 16th of July, interviewed at a university on that Monday, I think was the 19th, had a face-to-face -face interview, interview that Friday and I got the job. So the blessing in all of that was the Lord knew that I was unhappy in my job and the Lord used that job as a catalyst to get me my next job. Stick with me. Follow me on this journey. So, I'm now an academic advisor. Now, walking into the situation, I didn't really know what I was getting myself into because to be completely honest, when you don't have a job, you don't really have the room to be nitpicky. You have to roll with the punches. You gotta put your big big draws on and keep it pushing because, I mean, what, what else are you gonna do? So I took the job and I'm like, you know what? It's not exactly what I wanna do, but I'm gonna do it and see where it gets me. So I ended up starting the position and to be completely honest, I enjoyed it. Fast forward, I'm in the position for a year and I feel like something is missing. And I felt like I was in my position and I felt like I was in a box. I felt like I didn't have much mobility, that like I couldn't move, I couldn't grow, and I wanted to grow. That was the, 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 what always trips me up is the fact that I wanted to grow in my position. I wanted to grow at that institution. I did. I wanted to be there, maybe not forever, but for a while, because there was something about working hard and building a platform or a foundation for yourself and growing within the same within the same company. I wanted that. So, I ended up applying for an internal position and I was transferred to another department. Doing the same job advising, only this time I'm doing face-to-face -face advising. Your girl moved up to face-to-face -face advising. So I'm in the face-to-face -face advising position and I love it. Now, I have to press pause because I need to back up for a moment. Prior to transitioning to that new role, I had started taking classes at the university. I was not consistent when taking courses. I would take maybe one here, one there. So when I found myself unhappy in my advising job, I decided at that point, you know what? I'm going to start taking courses. I'm going to finish up my master's degree so that I can transition or move to something different and I can have a better quality of life. So once I made that decision, I started knocking out my classes. So by now, I'm transitioning to my new role, still unhappy. And I'm like, well, why am I unhappy? I had to really sit with myself and really dive deep into why I felt the way I felt. There were a lot of things that were going on behind the scenes when it came, when it came to my position. There were a lot of people that were making decisions for my particular job that may or may not understood what it meant to be an advisor. And for me, I just always felt like this, it can't be this way. It, it like things have to change. Things have to get better until it dawned on me. Things will get better. When you begin to set things in motion and you begin to take action and change how you think about business and how you think about your career, that's when things will improve for you. So rather than sitting and waiting and worrying and, and just being confused and upset, 
finish your degree. Take your classes, get your degree, and let's see what happens from there. So I'm knocking out these classes. I'm meeting with a mentor. I'm talking with my professors. I'm like, listen, I'm serious about this. I want to get my degree. I want to get a job when I finish. What, what is the path? Like, what do I need to do? So I'm knocking out these classes. So when I started applying for jobs, I'm applying for advising positions as well as instructional designer positions. And if you're not familiar with what instructional design is, it is an individual that design online courses, okay? So I'm interviewing for the advising positions. I did not get not one call back for my for the advising positions now mind you in my mind i'm like why am i not getting any calls back for these advising positions granted i didn't want to be an advisor I, sometimes we're faced with different challenges because god has to make us uncomfortable see if i would have went to my last job and liked it and enjoyed it i would still be there i wouldn't have a master's degree I wouldn't be where I am now. I wouldn't be in a job that I love. I wouldn't be in a career that I love. I wouldn't, you know, have the ad advantages that I have now. I wouldn't be making more money. I wouldn't be able to sustain myself. And that's why God puts different challenges in our pathway. Because sometimes what we think is good enough the Lord is like, good enough? Good. Girl, do you not know what I got in store for you? Do you not know where I'm trying to take you? I'm not trying to have you do an entry level for the rest of your life. I'm trying to elevate you. I'm trying to boost your level. I'm trying to take you from where you are right now and put you up here. Sometimes we think right here. That's just like with this YouTube channel. I'm nervous about this journey. I'm nervous about what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. But I know that in this moment, God is trying to elevate me. He's trying to take me to a level that I've never seen before. And so because I, I ain't never seen it before, I'm going to have to be okay with the fact that God is leading and he's driving. He's driving. He's now in control of my life and where I go and the direction that I go. And I know, I know I'm going off on a tangent and I do apologize, but I'm just trying to get you to understand that we're not in control. Everything happens for a reason. And if you stick it out and you push forward and keep, keep going, I promise you, I promise you, if you just put it in the Lord's hands and say, Lord, it's in your hands, I promise you, the end result will be so amazing and so fulfilling that you'll be questioning why I didn't do this sooner. Why didn't I call, Lord, why didn't I call your phone number to begin with? So, with all that being said, I pray that this was inspiration for somebody because somebody need to hear this tonight. I don't know who you are. I don't know where you are, but I know that somebody needed to hear that. Let it go. Pray about it and let it go. All is well. It has been real, y'all. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Mind you, it took me a few times to record and re-record, but you know what? It, it's okay, I'm letting it go. It's in the Lord's hands. It's in the Lord's hands, okay? So, it's been real, y'all. It's your girl, Kirby Plus Curls. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much. If you are not, make sure you click the subscribe button and also check the notification bell so that you don't miss an upload. Until next time, be nice to each other, be real with each other. I'm out, bye.